Global Healing and Regeneration, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 151. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 151, February 14th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to receive or see more details, more specifics, links to all of the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email, uh, every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transfer the second 25% of the written content for the work lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of work. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the cooperation and collaboration lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the community lesson plan, which you can see here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Food completed another round of organizing the streamlined version of our Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page, which includes contributions provided by naturopathic Dr. Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. This week, we did fine-tune editing, proofreading, and organized the hub page and the links it leads to. The organization and page is now approximately 96% complete. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revision for the footers, foundation, and flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was finishing the narrative for gutter construction, exploring the possibility of rice halls for insulation to meet code requirements, reviewing and updating the resources section, number 15, and doing another reorganization of the sections of municipal county involvement, center point establishment, and utilities, stem, wall, floor, foundation, and footer excavation. We'd say we're now 68% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, began focusing on the kitchen updates you see here. These are design updates 4.0 from Jessica and include new shelving and other kitchen equipment specifics, as well as added dining seating. 
Shilsey Augustine, architect, also continued developing the compressed earth block village pod four massage and treatment room spaces. What you see here are the initial external extension designs for shade and privacy around these areas. Dean Schultz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 6.0 of this work that focused on exploring walkway coverings and doubling the maker's spaces in both the north wings to increase the available workspace while providing an additional sound buffer for the living spaces attached to these workspaces. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also began evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here are the first of these, including the addition of new colors and a living wall in one of the common spaces. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of learning how to do our own renders for the Duplical City Center. What you see here is more of the kitchen rendering with focus on the long lights, spotlights, metal surfaces, shadows, and background landscape. Bupesh Sithala, interior designer, also created these design ideas for the faceplate of the visitor room beside bed control systems interface. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued with these additional pipe couch designs for the Duplical City Center library. The drawings you see here are her 10th generation drawings focusing on more cushion details and a simplified support for the back. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automated systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued discussion about what the appearance and best functional design should be for the beside bed control systems interface. Here are images created by Mike for two completely different ways to wire it all. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued working on a complete update of the One Community Business Plan. What you see here is our second week of reformatting the plan on a Google Doc for easier collaboration and sharing. We'd say we're about 8% done with the complete rewrite and update. Behind the scenes, we also moved our sites to a new host to improve functionality. Jackie Tustain, project manager, also continued helping us convert the lead certification research done by Matthias Manfredini, civil engineering student and urban design coordinator, into a web page. Here are the second round of pictures of this lead tutorial page developing on the site, continuing with the formatting and content editing. We'd say we're about 25% complete with this tutorial. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. Global healing and regeneration are possible if enough people participate. One community's goal is to positively and permanently transform this planet for everyone. Our idea is to build a bridge between pragmatism and idealism and create a planet that is truly sustainable for our generation, for generations to come within our lifetime. The way that we're doing this is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. The highest good living foundations that we're focused on are an evolution of sustainability that includes physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing, and combines this with emotional sustainability, which we've identified the foundations being highest good education, fulfilled living practices, highest good economics, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together is a combination of sustainability that we believe will provide a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way they're living right now. And one community is meant to be the teacher demonstration hub, ecotourism destination that people can come and visit and experience everything that we are doing, everything that we're creating, the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living models, the education model, all these aspects and any aspect that they like, they can take and replicate either as an individual component or they can take all the different components together 
and put them together as a teacher demonstration hub exactly like one community and join our global collaboration for creating a world that works for everybody. Start this global healing and regeneration process. Help us accelerate it into the future by building solution models that help to create additional solution creating models. The idea of a teacher demonstration hub, community, village, or city is to create a model that specifically teaches others how to create additional solution creating models. And we believe that if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this is attractive enough, the global healing and regeneration process will happen because of a self-replicating model, a self-sustainable and self-sufficient model that is also self-replicating. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, we invite you to get involved. We have lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer members that will move to the property and build everything as one community, to just sharing our information on social media networks. This is the easiest way to help us is just sharing our information. And we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest. We are on probably about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information because we know that if enough people have access to this information, then if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough as we are doing, then the self-replicating model will transform the world. We'll reach that tipping point of participation where our planet will achieve sustainability, where the way that most people live will be sufficient that we will start the healing and regeneration process on a global scale, that we will positively impact the lives of every single person and living creature on this planet. This is what we're doing. This is what we're focused on. And we're bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that it's possible, that want to participate in it, believe that we are the ones that we've been waiting for. We are the ones capable of creating change and want to be a part of that. They want to ride the edge of cutting sustainability, the cutting, the cutting edge of sustainability to be on that wave of transformational change, to be at the front forefront of making a difference in this world for everybody. This is our focus. This is our purpose. This is what we're doing and what we've been doing for the last time for me full time for five years now. Our whole organization is volunteer. We're all unpaid volunteers, everybody. Doing this because we see that a better world is possible and we want to do something about that. And people ask, well, what's the number one thing that one community needs? Well, we're still seeking large-scale funding. You know, we're still seeking the funding to get the property that we've been working on and working with or working around or focusing on for the last five years off the market so we can share that location so that we can start putting shovels in the dirt and start actually building and take our whole open source process to the next level. Sharing the location will allow us to multiply our team exponentially, build our team even faster, bring on more people to accomplish the things that we want to accomplish more efficiently and more effectively and more quickly, but also get us on the ground so that we can start open sourcing the specifics of building everything that we've been working on now for so many years. This is what we're doing. It's happening right now. People ask, well, you know, when are you going to start building? Like the creative process has been going on for years. We've been designing and, and developing everything we've been doing now for years. The healing and regeneration process is always, already in full swing, and there are people all over the world using the information that we've created and starting to implement the things that we've done in their own projects in different ways. We get emails all the time from people saying, hey, we've been following your project for years. Thank you for what it is that we're creating. Now it's time to take it to the next level. So thank you for following our project. Thank you for following our process. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the little donations, the $5, the $10, the $15, $25 donations. They make a really big difference in covering our web expenses, which are significant, as well as all the other expenses associated with running a nonprofit organization. Uh, even though we're all volunteers, there's still a lot of expenses involved in running a global organization like ours, and the little donations make a big difference, making it uh, much easier for us to pay those expenses. So do the emails. So do the shares and the likes on Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter. All those things make a big difference. And so we like to say, we like to end every one of these with a big thank you. Of course, we say that if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. If you'd like to see more details, specifics, and links to everything that we're creating, all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. And, uh, of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.